Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session now we are going to discuss about the one of the most widely used heuristic technique. In the previous uh, sessions I told already what are the various kinds of the heuristic techniques or heuristic methods of the artificial intelligence and now we are going to discuss about the most widely used heuristic technique that is called as constraint satisfaction problem. So it is often regarded as one of the heuristic method. So it is called as the constraint satisfaction problem in shortly we can call it as the CSP. CSP is one of the most widely used heuristic method. So what are the things that we are see in the constraint satisfaction problem now we are going to see here. So let us see first we are having the set of the variables x is the set of the variables which contain x1, x2 and x3 okay and d is nothing but the set of domains. So these are the domains are v1, v2 and v3. Okay, and now we are having some set of the constraints. So C is nothing but set of the constraints. So let us see these are C1, comma C2, so and so, etc. Okay, so what is the meaning of this constraint satisfaction problem is to assign a value to the variable x2 is equal to v2 and so on we have to satisfy we need to satisfy the set of the constraints like c1 comma c2 so this problem is called as the csp called as the constraint satisfaction problem this entire problem is regarded as the constraint satisfaction problem okay so how can we solve this kind of the problems what are the various examples that we are going to see for this kind of the problems now Okay, so the very good example for this particular uh, constraint satisfaction problem is the first one is graph coloring or map coloring or map coloring. Okay, and the second one is crypt arithmetic problem. This is also one of the problem that is most widely used. So we will discuss these two problems of the constraint satisfaction problem. This is the one of the most widely used method of the heuristic technique. Now we see the first example is called as graph coloring or map coloring. Okay, for this we are taking one example of the Australian states. Okay, so what are the things are there in the Australian state? Let us see suppose this is the state of the Australia. This is entire uh, uh, continent of the Australia. Here we are having various kinds of the states like uh, V, S, A, uh, W, A, N, T, N, S, New South Wales, Victoria and uh, W, A, N, T like the Tasmania like the, the states are there here in the Australia and uh, this can be uh, these states can be represented in the form of the graphs like this see I am converting the states in the form of the graphs like V is connected to S, A and W, A and it is again connected in the form of N, T and it is again connected in the form of N, S, W and T is the isolated vectors actually it is Tasmania it is not connected to anything it is uh, regarded as the isolated vertex. So we have to color this kind of the map actually. So the domain set or the color set is given as red, green, blue. So what is the constraint we have to satisfy here is to assign the states colors is nothing but no adjacent nodes can have the same color. No adjacent nodes can have same color. So how can we satisfy this? Okay. How can we solve this problem that no two adjacent nodes can have the same color? Okay. I have given R to this. 
okay and all these connected nodes i am given as gb gb and this is also or it is not connected to any node so it is isolated so i have given as red so now see these two are the adjacent nodes so here the color is formed as rg the constraint is satisfied here now rb here it is r comma b and here it is rg again r comma g and again it is r comma b so like that no two adjacent nodes here can have the same color in this particular graph we have to uh, give the colors we have to give the variables are nothing but v comma sa so what is the variable set x is equal to v comma sa comma wa comma nt nsw nt these are the set of the variables and what are the domains here is nothing but r g b so what is the constraint is nothing but no two nodes can have the same color no two adjacent nodes can have the same color have same color so we are satisfying this particular constraint and we have colored this particular map like this okay this is called as the graph coloring or map coloring okay so this feature is called as graph coloring or map coloring the very first example of csp the first example of the constraint satisfaction problem okay so we have to satisfy that particular constraint and we are assigning the colors to this particular graph this is very easy to understand and next we see the another example of this constraint satisfaction problem now and now we see the another kind of the arithmetic uh, sorry crypt arithmetic problem another example of the csp it is also one of the another example of the constraint satisfaction problem here what it is saying is uh, we are uh, calculating 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 why it is called as the crypt arithmetic problem what is the reason behind that is nothing but all of you know the meaning of the cryptography we are sending the data from the source to the destination this is the source and this is the destination whenever we are sending the data from the source to the destination it should not be accessed by the intruders in between okay so it should not be accessed in between the intruders for that what we have to see we have to encrypt the data that is nothing but we have to encrypt it so this encryption of the data cannot be accessed by the intruders the name of this encrypted text is called as the cipher text this is called as what the cipher text okay so for this what we have to do one minute sorry okay so this is nothing but the cipher text it should be encrypted okay so for this what we have to do is uh, it should not be accessed by any number of the intruders so uh, what we have to do for this is nothing but we have to encrypt it and send it over the network okay so that is the meaning of the cryptography okay and the receiver can decrypt it and make the use of it right so now we are solving this script arithmetic problem why how we can solve this script arithmetic problem means we are encrypting the test by adding some auxiliary variables so the uh, intruder cannot access this particular data okay how can we add this auxiliary variables to this particular one first of all we will make into some set of the equations these two for, for first of all o plus o is equal to x1 is one of the auxiliary variable okay x1 plus w plus w is equal to x2 okay and as well as uh, x2 plus t plus t is equal to x3 x4 is equal to f sorry not x4 okay so x3 is equal to f hi and now we are going to discuss about the new kind of the arithmetic problem that is script arithmetic problem okay so what it is saying the script arithmetic problem what it is saying is nothing but uh, so we are adding two different numbers like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 okay 
and we are sending this particular data from the over the network from sender to the receiver that is source to the destination we can't send the directly the data why because there is a chance of accessibility of the data uh, from the intruders the intruders can access the actual data so to protect the data to uh, remove the unauthorized accessibility on the data what we have to do we have to use some encryption and decryption techniques these two are the cryptographic methods what is the meaning of the encryption in the encryption we are adding some set of the auxiliary variables or we are adding some kind of the dummy variables to the data and send it over the network so that the intruder cannot access directly the data but whereas the uh, receiver and he knows what we have done he knows what is the uh, key we have used using that he can decrypt that particular data this entire feature is the called as the cryptography and the text which is encrypted is called as the cipher text okay the cipher text this encryption can be done at the sender itself and the decryptor the, uh, at the receiver and or at the destination they can get the plain text okay by decrypting they can get the plain text by encrypting it will change into the cipher text by decrypting again it will change into the plain text so that the intruders cannot access this particular data this feature is called as the cryptography now and this cryptography can be applicable to this particular problem that is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So what is the thing we have observed in the 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so uh, we are taking the help of some set of the auxiliary variables like x1, x2 and x3. So this is the equation 2 plus 2, 4. This information we have to send from the source to the destination. Okay, so for this what we have to do O plus O is equal to r plus x1 okay and x1 plus w plus w is equal to u plus x2 and again x2 plus t plus t is equal to f okay so the x3 is equal to finally the f so these are the auxiliary variables these are the actual variables what are the actual variables f t uh, o u r okay so f t o u w r are the actual variables x1 x2 x3 are the auxiliary variables total nine number of the variables we are having so what is the variable set here f t o u w r x1 x2 and x3 these are the total nine number of the variables and what is the domain set here 0 to 9 values that is the 1 to 9 or 0 to 8 okay so 1 to 9 suppose that is the domain variables okay and what is the constraint what is the constraint here is we are uh, there is no repetition of the variable set no repetition is there any repetition of the variable set no each and every one is uniquely defined so there is no repetition of the variable set okay so now basing on this we are constructing one kind of the graph that is called as the crypt dependency graph how can we construct this crypt dependency graph and now we are going to see now understand clearly this problem how can we send the data from source to the destination without accessible by the intruders okay and now we are uh, drawing one kind of the crypt dependency graph based on this so what is the meaning of this crypt dependency graph is uh, the what are the variables f t o u o r these are the actual variables these are be again connected into c how x1 is connected with what kind of the variable we will see now basic based on this we will make this dependency o plus o is equal to x1 this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 okay so x1 is connected with o x1 is connected with w okay and x2 is connected with t and as well as x2 is connected with f also and as well as x3 is directly connected with f x3 sorry okay and u is connected with what u is connected with x1 and x2 
R is connected with x1 okay so like this all the variables are connected here okay this graph is called as script dependency graph how the variable dependency is showing we are sending this particular graph over the network so that the intruders cannot understand what are the things are there what are the actual variables and what are the auxiliary variables they cannot understand the dependency is clearly described so what is the constraint here we have to uniquely uh, having the variable set and we have to assign the values uniquely by having the nine different kinds of the uh, variables actual variables and as well as the auxiliary variables so this is one of the very good example of the script arithmetic problem and as well as the script dependency graph okay so now again we see what are the in the coming video why we will see what are the various types of the constraints how the different various situations we will use various kinds of the constraints and all these things thank you one and all if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all thank you